Hello everybody. How you doing today? Okay, that was enough nice shit. Uh perusing Facebook. I saw something that is a common occurrence. Black people in jail. Or as they call it. Or as we call it Facebook jail. Now for people that don't know because they don't get in trouble. Facebook jail is what happens when you get banned for three days, seven days, 30 days, whatever. For saying whatever. Now, if anybody watched my videos the last couple days, you, you'll notice that I, 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 I listen to NPR and public radio quite a lot because I'm trying to find out, you know, information, keep up with the, uh, with the news. Uh, I was listening to NPR on Monday. They were, uh, it was, I was listening to, uh, Democracy Now! And they were talking about, they were talking with Noam Chomsky. Now, he is a, uh, professor, forget what college, but he's written over a hundred books. He, you know, people refer to him for a whole bunch of stuff, politi politics and everything. But he was talking about how, America has this uh, thing going through Congress that they're trying to push to allow families, families family members of 9-11 uh, victims to sue uh, f to get 28 pages of classified documents released. And these documents supposedly speak to uh saudi arabia's involvement in 9-11 now now uh saudi arabia has countered by saying you know if this basically happens i'm paraphrasing but if this basically happens uh they're going to sell off about i think 750 million or 750 billion one of the two american securities and stuff like that which basically would you know hurt america because they're our friend uh so that's what they're doing. Now, uh, how does that tie into Facebook? Because they were talking about Facebook and Twitter are systematically scrubbing their uh, news feeds of any derogatory information pertaining to Saudi Arabia, 9-11, you know, the, the secret documents, things of that nature. Now, that's on the surface what they they weren't talking about but everybody seems to know or at least black people know is that uh facebook has keywords that that are on a i guess on a hot list i guess you can say uh, i was just wa t uh, speaking to a brother that typed uh tranny on facebook he got blocked for 30 days so another person that posted something about uh white people or something and they got blocked also um i was speaking about an individual that did something to me and i got blocked so i mean i say all this to say that um facebook does not take your freedom of speech your american freedom of speech uh into consideration when you are posting. Now, obviously Facebook is a private business that is used by the public. So they have rules and regulations on their site, but that means that for, from what I've seen, now I could be wrong, but uh, what I see is that they go out of their way to punish black people reason I say that for over a year I think it was about 2013 2014 um, me and a bunch of other people unsuccessfully tried to get a Trey Boone Trey Boone B-O-O-N like baboon Martin Page deleted that some white guy created you know mocking Trayvon Martin his little friend the little black girl uh, putting his body in all kinds of different poses, you know, had him kicking field goals and being crucified and and stuff like that. 
They wouldn't delete it. We sent, I, I know I sent at least two or three complaints about the page myself. And then there was a bunch of other people that did, that did it also. So they send me an email finally and said, or inbox and say, basically, uh, we went looking for the page and they couldn't find it because the person obviously deleted it before they got to it. But you can sit here and find this brother's page real fast and, and hit and say, it says, he says tranny and now all of a sudden he's banned for 30 days, but you can't get anything off of your website that is derogatory towards black people. Now, it's not their fault. It's our fault. It's black people's fault because we have our own social media sites. We just conduct ourselves like slaves. I hate to say it, that's where we are. We make all kind of excuses. Oh, that site is whack. That site don't do nothing. Ain't nobody talking. It don't work. It's too difficult. I can't do this. I can't do that. Whatever, yada, yada, yada. To stay with white people. Oh, my family is over here. You know, it would be difficult for them to come over here. Bunch of excuses. Same excuses we use when not supporting black businesses. We sit on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and all these other social media sites talking about black power. I see on Instagram hundreds of pictures posted daily about some form of black power. Support black business. Go to a black business. Do this. Do that. Today is Malcolm X Day. That we have decided that we are just going to make a day for us. We can do that, but we can't support black businesses. We can do something simple, but we can't do nothing simple. So, me and a few other people uh, that I know of are, you know, serving time in Facebook jail. Now, I'm still there because I'm trying to, I'm, I'm like Harriet Tubman. I'm out of time now. I'm trying to wake up black people to say, hey, come on over here. Or find a black social media site that's, that's up. If you don't want to go to our time now, go to a black, another black social media site. Promote that one. I'm not like some people that don't tell you about other black social media sites. I know of a brother... His name is Tariq, not the other one. His, he has a website called uh, Africa.com. A-F-R-A-K-A.com. If you don't want to go to OurTimeNow.com, go there. Join both. We're working together anyway. So, I mean, you know, because unity starts with you and I. We have no unity without you and I. We get nothing from Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg, they said, is the richest man on the planet. He makes more money in a day than damn near every person on the planet. And you are helping him make money. Every post, every keystroke, every click, every time you want to cuss somebody out and say, you know, F you because I don't like you or whatever. You hit enter, he makes money. He shows you a new page, he makes money. Even when you just have the browser open, he makes money. How much of that money is he giving you? How much? How many black jobs is he, is he creating? Oh, he can make a post about not disrespecting black people, but he only has less than 2% black employment in his company. Same thing with all the rest of the Menlo Park uh, companies. They don't even want to release their employment numbers because they'll once you find out, even though black people ain't going to do nothing, we talk a good game. Like Bernie Mac said, we get aggressive and talk big, but we ain't going to do shit. But here, I challenge you. I challenge you. My challenge, obviously, let's see who, who actually will do it. You know, everybody want to do the running man challenge and the ice water challenge and I'm the stupid ass dummy standing in front of this camera doing something dumb challenge. How about this challenge? How about the 
join a black social movement challenge. Now, the rules of the game are simple. The social media site obviously has to be up for has to be has to have been up at least two years. And it has to be all black. Can't be, oh, well, we got this person over here. We got one white person. No, 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 no. You have to find somebody that's on the site, that's been on the site for a minute, that's using the site or that has used the site. And uh, you have to use it. You have to go on there and post and see what's going on. Try to find out who owns it, who, who, who runs it, who's the, you know, the admins and ask them questions. See what features and things are there. And then you have to recruit your friends. It's very simple. It's not hard. Same thing you do for Facebook. Do it for your own people. Let's see how many people take that challenge. Unless you like being in Facebook jail. Because it's only going to get worse. Till the next video. It's our time now.